Hello and welcome to Warzone Morlock. Today we aren't playing 40k for once, we are playing Blackstone Fortress. Um, Merry Christmas as well. Today is the first adventure on the channel. Um, we've got all the models painted up finally because it's been a little while since release and we're going to be playing on a battle map brought to you by co-op thin bags i mean if you want them they sell them in packs of 20 for i think three pounds but they're yeah good investment if you're doing anything where you need sort of a black base for this um on to uh have a look at the models we're gonna be using today because bill's done an amazing job painting these up so in blackstone fortress you pick four models um for each adventure you can swap them out when you return to uh precipice to end the adventure for that day so um for this first go i'm going to be taking out ur25 who's an imperial robot he's pretty cool super strong um offensively and defensively but only has three actions a turn then i'm taking pious fawn she's a sort of heavy flamer with a chain sword really strong offensively but not so strong defensively She's got a pretty good stats with a three move and four actions per turn. Really cool model too. It's got that old grim dark feel to it. Uh, then I'm taking a Kroot, which I think is a really cool model for 40k as well. He's really nice. He uh, is sort of the tracker thief sneaker style uh, for this adventure. It's got four, move, uh, four actions and three moves again. Not as strong sort of in any sort of combat, but a cool model and some interesting rules for him as well. And then finally, I'm taking the main character, Janus Drake. He's uh, painted here with a really cool, sophisticated white hairstyle. He's sort of an all-rounder, pretty good. And I just picked him because he was cool and it's part of kind of fluffy, so sticking with him for the first adventure. Okay, so we've got the characters all set up. They're on the uh, maglev, which is taking them into the Blackstone Fortress. They've come off their ships and they're preparing for the first adventure. I've got no idea what they're going to find. And uh, I'll explain the rules of this first adventure as it goes along, as simply as I can, just so that everyone gets a chance to know what's happening. Because uh, it's, it's quite intimidating the first time you play this. What is really cool is that it's a single player game and um, there's rules for playing all the enemies as well. Uh, hopefully a lot of guys will get this, and girls, will get this for Christmas, and this will help figure out how to do it. So firstly, we're going to draw an exploration card, see what the first uh, task is going to be when they enter the Blackstone Fortress. Okay. Combat, starting strong. So I've got to set up the tiles like this, and then we'll draw to see what enemies we're going to be facing. Okay, so once you've uh, got your combat card, Pick out all the different pieces and stick them together to make this amazing game board with the characters right at the end here. Then according to the combat card, you get a number of enemies on each set of combat tiles. So for this, I've got a draw for one, two, and three uh, from my encounter cards. So for one down here, four uh, ghouls. They're pretty uh, dangerous. Uh, number two, over here, we've got three Negavolt cultists. And then number three, we've got one Spindle drone. All right, that's not so bad. Um, I'll drag those models out and we can have a look at them and see what they do, and then I'll stick them down on the board. Look at these guys, they're awesome, aren't they? Warp creatures that have come to find themselves in the halls of the Blackstone Fortress, wandering aimlessly, being directed by some unseen force towards the adventurers. See, so the Urgles, they're pretty strong really, because they've got three wounds apiece, and they're still small. They've got the claws and talons, so they're a close combat, really. But they get three times the attacks, I think. Uh, yeah, when they're, um, when they're engaged in combat, so that's pretty tough. Then we've got the Negavolt Cultists. They've got uh, another close combat weapon and they ignore cover. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty scared of them. At least I've only got two wounds though. 
They look really nice as well. Like messed up half machine, half chaos cultists. They're just awesome. And lastly, we've got the spindle drones. They're the natives of the Blackstone Fortress. They got some cool rules, even though they look pretty small and unintimidating. They get stronger the more of them you kill or alarm. Uh, two wounds apiece, only a small move, but loads of different threat ranges up to four tiles. So, yeah, they're starting being able to attack the uh, adventurers straight away. Okay, so I've got the board laid out, it's looking pretty cool. Everything's sat where they are. The adventurers at the top, just coming up in the maglev, about to embark into the combat. Um, I'm going to draw the initiative to find out what goes everyone's in, and then I'm going to roll the dice to see what actions I've got for everyone. And I'll roll some separate dice for the um, Destiny dice, which you can use alongside whichever actions you get for everyone. So, uh, going first is, you are 25, decent. I mean, that makes sense, because it's at the front anyway. And then, Pious Vorm, good as well. Uh, hostile Group 3, which is the Spindle Drone. Then, Dyak, and this is going all right. Janus, all right, that's the end of the explorers. I mean, it's good if they can go first because it means they're not gonna get ambushed. And then it's a uh, hostile group two. And I mean, if this isn't hostile group one that I've messed up somewhere, good, okay? So the Urgles go last. I mean, that kind of, it's pretty fluffy. I mean, they're out the back anyway. They don't even know what's going on. We've got the spindle drone alerted first, and then the Negavolt cultists um, coming up second to last. Um, you can roll gambits to swap with the enemies and you can swap between the characters if they've got line of sight with each other. So that's it, and now to on to roll some uh, okay, dice. So I think this is gonna set the tone for the adventure, seeing how these dice roll go. So you are 23, you get three action dice. Ooh, two ones and a six, six is good. One's not so good, but they can just use them for moves, and then he can dip into the Destiny dice if we get any. Pass one's got four. Oh, yeah. Two sixes, a three, and a two. Decent. Dyak. Oh, that's pants. And so is the camera angle. <laughs> Last one. I'm going to get this on camera, not to the side of the camera this time. That's really good. Great. And then the destiny dice. Let's get this over here. Right. Any doubles you don't get, and they're discarded, but the rest of them go into the uh, pool for any of the adventurers to use. So I've got a six, and that's definitely changed. I think that was a four or a three. I'll go back and have a look. Um, so I can use those. And now on to turn one. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the initiative at the moment. That's mainly because I haven't played this before and I have no idea what I should be changing, if I should be changing anything, but I reckon the robot and Pyrus form going first is pretty decent because they're my uh, heavy hitters. But I am going to activate Diet Grek's special rule, which um, uh, gives him a booby trap at the beginning of the game. It means he can make a move and then lay a trap before any combat started. So. I'm going to move him one, two, because he's got a three move, and then drop a booby trap in here. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the booby trap dice at hand, so I'm gonna get a good shot of my sofa quickly. And then me one-handed opening this, which is extremely difficult, because they're really nicely made. Thanks. I would say some advice for this is to pick up a bag of like little food bags from uh, your local shop or whatever because um, it comes with loads of cards and they all get mixed up unless you sort them out properly. Um, also do things two handed because uh, it's not very good like this. In fact, it's so bad, I'm gonna cut okay, it. So part of the reason I struggled to find the uh, mine in here is because it wasn't in that bag. It was in the other one which I handy had changed over into food bags. So, as well as buying food bags, remember which one you put things in. So, he is going to lay a mine here. And now it's on to turn one for UR25. 
Okay, so he has got two ones and a six. Uh, the ones can be used to move one space. So I'm going to bring him out to here. And I think I'm gonna have him open up on the spindle drone. Okay, so I'm gonna have to stop myself there because uh, you are 25 has a secret agenda, which is during an expedition, slay a spindle drone with a power claw weapon action. This will make him inspired if he manages it, which will uh, turn over the card and make him much stronger. So I've spent one to move already. I'm gonna spend another one to bring him right up next to the spindle drone. Okay, so I've got six left, which means I can use the power claw. Um, so I need two of the uh, triangular dice for this. So I've got this here. The spindle drone has two wounds, so I need two single wounds or a crit to kill it. Um, obviously he's uh, fluffed horrendously there. Um, so I'm gonna have to use one of the destiny dice over here to give it a go. It only costs one action here, so I'm gonna try that again. Come on, buddy, you got this. You're a massive robot and it's a tiny puny robot. Yes, so he crits it and kills it. Amazing. Now, that actually makes him instantly inspired, so he's gonna turn into an absolute beast from now on in this adventure. Really cool. And that is the end of the first turn. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I've killed a spindle drone. Um, I can roll to see if he gets an inspiration point, but he's already inspired, so I don't know if it's gonna make any difference. What you have to do, I think, is roll equal or under two the amount of wounds you cause that turn. So it's a two wound model, uh, 15, so he's Okay, not. so next in the initiative is Pious Vaughn. Um, she can damage units that are in the same hex, so really I wanna be going after these ones. So bring her over at one, two, spending the two. Uh, I'm gonna need to do a flamer attack. She has uh, cleansing flames up to three range. So that's one, two to get them. Two of these big dice. Um, and ignores cover, which is brilliant because that white line there means they're in cover and reduce all wounds taken by them by one, but it won't matter. And um, an attack against all hostiles in that group. Here we go. Uh, against the first guy, furthest away, she does a crit, which is three wounds. Um, so that kills this guy. And then against the other one in the tile, uh, it does one wound. So he takes a wound, and that is the first six used up. Uh, he's got two wounds left. I really ideally need to kill him. So I'm gonna burn the, oh, burn, she burns. Burn the other six to try and finish him off. I need to do two more wounds. Uh, doesn't do anything. So uh, that's all her uh, cleansing flame attacks added up. Can also do a Vindicator Flamer on a three plus, and she's got a three left. So that's one of the big dice. Let's try that, still got two wounds left on that. And that does another wound, taking him down to one wound. So I'll stop for there, stick the wound counter on and see Okay, what so I shouldn't probably guess how many wounds everything has because um, I've had a look and they only have two wounds. So that's the other one dead. Um, I've still got some destiny dice, which I quite fancy using because it'd be good to try and kill off that last uh, Negavolt cultist. So I'm gonna use the three. Uh, for another cleansing flame attack. That's one of the big dice, ignoring cover against the last Mega Vault Cultist. And that is nothing. And then I'm gonna be crazy and use the last one. Try and finish off this guy, or at least do some damage to him. Let the other ones go. Nope, that's nothing. In pious form, staring down the last one. She's flamed two of them off. Really cool. And um, she's killed four wounds worth of Negavolt cultists this turn. So uh, she needs a four or less to be inspired.
four or less to be inspired. 13, so no, no inspiration points for her. And we are on to hostile group three. Okay, so because Bill is my only friend, I'm playing on my own today. And um, that means I use the uh, instructions on the back of here to decide what the Urgles are gonna do in uh, combat. They're starting over the back here, facing down on the adventurers. Um, I'm gonna start with this guy over here at the front. So I roll the uh, D20 and then pick wherever they are on the table and correspond it. So let's have a look. They are uh, hidden, no line of sight to the explorer. So let's see what they do. 18, that is charge. So they do a three move uh, towards the closest adventurer, which is, you are 25 over here actually. So this guy, he can go one, two, three. And then if there's no uh, attackers, he goes again and moves again. One, two. Okay, that's the first uh, ghoul done. See what number two gets. Again, hidden. 14, that is charge again. So one, two, three. Uh, no one there. And moves again, closest to you are 25. Uh, next one. Six. Sneak. That is move without uh, staying out of sight. So one, two, three. And that's as far as he can go. Because if he enters that one, you are 25 will be able to have direct line of sight to see him. So he stays there. And the last one for the end of the hostiles go. 14, which is charge as well. Two, three, one, two, three. There we go. And that is okay, the end Next of up is Dyak Grek. He's got six, a two, and two ones. Um, he's already in a pretty good position. So I um, don't think I want him to uh, fall back or anything. I think I'm just gonna have to take some shots at that. Think about cultists. The only problem is he's in cover, so I'm going to be looking for crits to do any damage to him. Uh, luckily, the crew rifle only is one plus to attack. So uh, yeah, let's give this a go. Uh, shooting the crew rifle is in three, so crits is the only way to do any damage. I mean that's pretty good luck, really. So uh, he takes a wound. Uh, I'm going to use another one to try that again. Uh, a fail. I'm going to use the next two to try that again. Uh, so that's negated because um, uh, because of the cover rule. Uh, what I've just realised is that nigger vault course is I really need to run into the booby trap or the booby trap is going to block me in. So uh, I don't really know why I did that. Probably not going to do that again. I'm just going to leave him there. Uh, okay, I'm going to spend the six uh, to move him one here. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm stupid. I'm going to put the six to put him on Overwatch. Now, Overwatch reduces the number uh, you have down by one, but it allows him to take an action when the hostiles move into his line of sight. Okay, so that's the end of Diet Grex turn. I think that was pretty pointless, but never mind. On to Janus Drake. All right, so we're gonna see what this guy's good at doing. He's got some really good dice, um, and you are 21 could probably do with some help over there. So I think I'm gonna get him stuck in over there because these guys have got this blank covered. Last of all, one's blown into smithereens. Um, so yeah, Janus is coming over here. Uh, I'm going to spend the one to move him to. Actually, he started so far back. One, two. And then we're going to have to use a five to bring him into combat tile. Okay. And then I'm going to use the six to do a flurry of attacks. Um, when making a flurry of attacks, weapon action, Janus Drake can attack twice for a cost of four or three times for a cost of six. So I can take three attacks. Uh, one after each other, 
am ignoring cover uh, against these Urgles, who have three wounds each. Crap. At least they've gone, they're not going to attack me in combat, so here we go. Backing up the robot. One, brilliant. One damage. Uh, he makes another attack. We're going against this guy, by the way. Two, brilliant. So he's got one wound left, this Urgle. And crit kills him. Uh, that's awesome. I really didn't expect that to happen. Okay, brilliant. Uh, he's dead. Let's stick that on his dead pass, remember, for uh, inspiration. And then I'm going to do the same again for a flurry of attacks for three attacks against these Urgles. That's going to be fighting this guy next. Here. First attack, nothing. Second attack, one. So he's down to two wounds. And the last attack in the flurry, nothing. So it's just done one wound on there. And that's the end of his attacks. That's the end of that. I've got no more destiny dice. So we're stopping there for now. Yep, that's it. So I'll put wound counter on him and come back for hostile group two megavolt cultists. Right, so at the beginning of the enemy's turn, if units have been destroyed, models, then you have to roll to see if they get any reinforcements. That happens on a one to three on the dice. 20, so no more reinforcements. So it's just one megavolt cultist. So he is uh, other because he isn't adjacent or engaged, and he has line of sight, so he's just other. So I've got to roll a d20 to see what he does. 11, which is charge. He has a move value of three. So he goes one, two, steps on the mine, takes a grievous wound and dies instantly. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> that was all right. Unlucky, buddy. Uh, he goes into diet groups. Uh, dead bar. So Dyak awesome. can take, I mean he would have had an overwatch shot but the guy killed himself anyway. Um, he doubles the wound values for inspiration so that's wound values 2. On a 4 or under he gets an inspiration point. Yeah great, he gets an inspiration point. That's awesome. Okay, so any keen viewers out there may have noticed that I did this wrong. Uh, I played hostile group 3. Uh, which should have been the Spindle Drones, as the Urgles. Um, so that's pretty annoying. I'm just going to have to go with it now. Pretend I swapped these around. Uh, just made a mistake and do the uh, Spindle Drones now instead. Oh, sorry everyone. Hopefully it doesn't make too much difference. I'll get it right next time. It's more first. Hey. So Spindle Drones. Uh, there's none of them left because they've been destroyed. So I need... Uh, to roll for reinforcements, so one to four again, so let's have a look. 20, nope, so that's the end of their turn, and that's the end of the first turn. It's pretty cool. Uh, it was awesome, I really like the AI scripting, that's cool, but they had no chance. It's quite cool. Flamed them all to death, and crew killed the last one in mine. And these two over there, UR25, <laughs> destroyed the spindle drone. Janus came over and took some wounds and killed an Urgle as well. Um, yep, so back for Good. initiative draw. See how this goes. What we really don't want is the Urgles to go first. They are number one. So as long as number one doesn't come up, I'm happy. You are 25, that's good. Stock group two, which was the Negavolt Cultists. Stock group three, which is the Spindle Drone. Ah, oh, that's not good. This is not great. Um, then Dyak, Giannis, and Pius. Okay, what I really want is Pius to come first, go back and try and flame some of these Urgles. So I might have to do some gambits in a bit, but I'll see what dice I've got to work with first. Well, that's extremely unlucky, so a triple six, which would be good in any game, but it's not good in this, in Destiny Dice, so they're all taken off play. Uh, inspired Robot, at least he's inspired and he's in combat, that's great. Two, two, five, that's all right. High spawn. Two sixes, one and a four, that's decent. Dyak. 
six, two, four, two. It's all right. Chianis, uh, you beast. Gonna kill some Urgles. He's pissed off. All right, okay. Uh, let's have a think about this. Right, you are going first. Is great. Um, or I can do a gambit with Pius if I want to using one of her dice. So I'll probably use the one. Um, right, on a regular, on a one, I can move, swap with the closest hostile group. Should be one, and on a crit, I can swap with any hostile group. So let's give that a go. Come on, crit. No, that's nothing, of course it is. All right. Uh, yeah, that's it, I think I'm gonna have to suck this up. Hope for the best, see how it goes, because I don't want to waste any more dice. I mean, she's got two sixes and a four, that could come in handy. Hope that you are 25 can do some work on these guys before they get their turn. So, uh, you are 25's turn one in round two. Uh, just before I start rolling some dice, we'll see how cool this is. They're painted so well, really beautiful. Yeah, on the battle for the second objective. I mean, I'd back the robot in this all day. He's over, so going to get something. There were my fingers. In this turn, UR25 and Janice taking off the Urgles. One of them's wounded. It's taken a bit of uh, attack from that sword. I mean, he's still smoking, even in combat, which is pretty badass. But hopefully, this robot's going to make short work of him. Okay. Right, so he's inspired now. Power Claw attack only takes up one. Great. Okay, so double swing against the wounded Urgle over here. He's got two wounds left. And he has no wounds left. He is pulverized by UR25. Right, I'm gonna spend the other one to do the same against the other Urgle. He's got three wounds left, this guy, so it might take some more to kill. I mean, a double crit's gonna do it, isn't it? Let's be honest. He did. Okay, so he's still got uh, five left, see what you can do with that. I mean, there is a marker there, but really I need to take, get rid of this uh, last Urgle, so that would be cool. Um, need to move him into line of sight, so line of sight works from the middle of a square to middle of another square, so from here, it's the middle of this square, there's no open space between it, go through here. So really the only square you can attack into here. So this one, this one, or this one. So we're gonna have to move your R25 and he has the slowest movement. So it's got one. So uh, I'm gonna spend the five here to move him one to here. And then I'm going to spend another four from the destiny dice to move him again. To here. Then I'm going to use the last Destiny dice over here to do the Power Claw attack. It'd be good if he pastes two of them and then comes along and pastes the last guy before they can even do anything. So come on for some crits. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty successful turn all round. He's <laughs> pulverized them. Decent. Uh, I don't know if that screwed up then, but my low battery came up. Uh, so that's great. He's annihilated three Urgles in one turn. This power claw. I think that's what happens when they get inspired. Right, so I can roll see whether he gets inspired. That's nine wounds killed with them. So a nine or under will get another inspiration point. Eight. <laughs> what, a, what a hero. He's destroyed these Urgles. Okay, so feeling pretty strong. They're all dead. QR25 has <laughs> been an absolute beast. He's destroyed everything on the table. Uh, but now it's the hostile group's turn. So number two, which I'm going to get right this time, is Negavolt Cultist. So on a three, two, or one, they get reinforcements. Eleven. Nope, that's fine. Uh, number three, which is a Spindle drone, looking for a three, two, or one. And they'll come back stronger because they'll be alarmed. A five. Nope, that's fine. And hostile group one, which is the Urgles that just got obliterated. Uh, three, two, or one. 14, so no, we're good. That's really good news, we can move on to the last okay, so it's Dayak next. He's got three move, which is good, because there's one of the uh, objectives over there. So I'm gonna spend the two 
and to move him onto there. On a four plus, he can do a search action, which would let him get a discovery card. So I'm gonna spend that and draw a discovery card, see what he gets. Uh, architect to, that's okay. You spend that when you go back to your ship, you can buy cool things for them. It's not bad, but what the uh, aim is, is to pick up clues, which then lead you to a stronghold and eventually to a final mission uh, where you can get special artifacts and learn what's going on in the Blackstone Fortress. Okay, good news though. Now um, we still got two movements left, so I think I'll move him three. Uh, one, two, three. And then do, and that was that movement, another search action, which is there, to call the elevator. So here we go. Happy days, that's the end of him. Uh, Janus, uh, what's he got? Oh yeah, he's done all right. Um, spend that for the move action. And then the five to search. Let's see what he gets. Discovery card. What's that? Janus Drake. <laughs> this has been very good for Janus Drake. Secret agenda. Uh, have the Imperium Chronometer Discovery card. Janus Drake is at the start of expedition. He becomes inspired. Awesome. So, a start of the expedition though. I haven't started the expedition with this, so. But next time he'll be inspired. That's really good. Great. Uh, but I haven't got a clue yet, which is annoying. Okay, so I've got two sixes left. Um, I've got one more of these to try and uncover. And then I've try, got to try and get him out of here on the elevator. So he's going to move. Uh, I'll spend the two last ones to move him six squares. Oh, sorry, he's only moves two, doesn't he? So that's four squares. One, two, three, four. All right. This bit's a bit hairy, I think, because I've got to try and get the adventurers out of here. And they're all separated, and there could be reinforcements. So, lastly, Pius. Uh, she spent one on a gambit, didn't she? Which she failed. And she moves three, so she can move a total of nine. Do I want to do that? No, I think I'll move a three. Yep. One, two, three. Uh, to use the four and then put her on overwatch. Oh, there's no point because it's the end of the turn anyway Yeah, that's bad. So uh, I'll move her another one I think To here just to try and cover their backs. I don't want to in the maglev yet because some hostiles might turn up for reinforcements Okay, combat round number three and uh, sure, shuffle these Uh, this is one-handed shuffling as well. We saw one-handed uh, token drawing earlier. So this is probably as effective. Uh, RNG. Right, I reckon that's shuffled. I mean, it's my game, so I do what I want. Let's see. Round three. You are? Good. Also group one. Janus. It's good because they're the furthest away. I need to get them back out of the way. Pius, Hostile 2, Hostile 3, Dynamic. Okay, let's roll some dice. Oh, I shouldn't have done this because he only moves one. I should have used him to open a maglev because he takes forever. Could be here about 20 rounds. I've also forgotten something as well. And I'll get back to that in a second. Well, that was a particularly pants roll. And just some average dice there. Okay, destiny dice. Uh, ditch the sixes, five, four, three, good. The start of round three, I've realized I missed to roll on the event table. And it's pretty easily missed since the first episode. Hopefully I won't do it again. So the adventurers at the end of each turn have to roll to see what happens to them. Uh, a random thing happens uh, according to that. But I'll play catch up and roll two dice to see what happens. So put a three. So go over to the event table. Uh, unfulfilled destiny, do not make a destiny roll at the start of the next turn. 
Right, so that was for the end of round one, so I'll just deny any of my destiny rolls for this round, just to catch up, make it fair again. So I'll be in all of them, which is annoying because I could have used those to escape. And then this one for this round, 11, see what 11 is. Okay. The leader replaces the portal furthest away from any explorers with a maglev transport escape chamber. More than one portal is equally far, the leader can pick which one to replace. If the event has already been rolled or if an explorer is used to summon, there is no effect. Okay, so no effect. So catching up just meant I've got no dice. Okay, so you are 25. I'm gonna have to use three of these just to move him slowly. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, hostile group one, which was the Urgles. They're still here. Let's see what they do. One, two, three for them to come back. Four. No, they don't. That's fine. Get rid of. Oh no, that's these there, but nothing happens. Giannis. What's he got? He's got two, three, and two. Okay, so use the two to move him onto square one. The four to search. So he gets a discovery card, which is a clue. Awesome. That's what I wanted. I need four of those. Uh, during this expedition. And I've got two more dice. I'm going to try and get them out of here, I think. So burn these two to move four. One, two. Mm, do I want to do that? No, I don't. There's no point in having it in there. Just use two and put him on Overwatch so he can sort of protect the back if anything pops up in front of UR25. Be okay. Uh, Pious next. She has got some decent dice. Inferno. This action will be taken once per activation phase. Place an Inferno marker in up to two empty hexes that are visible to Pious. Up to two. Fawn and adjacent to each other. Oh, okay, cool. When an explorer or hostile enters a hex with Inferno marker, make a triangle roll against it that ignores cover. Move the Inferno marker so the next time Pious Fawn is activated. Right, so I'm definitely going to do that uh, in these squares here. That's going to cost me four. Then I'm going to use Overwatch for the others. Because I've got to wait and protect UR25 on his slow march back. Okay, I'll get the Inferno markers. Okay, so we've got those down there. Hopefully that will keep us safe as well as Overwatch. We're moving on to Hostile Group 2 which was the Spindle Drones. See if they come back, one, two, or three. 13, no, that's fine. And three, which is Negavolt Cultist, which I'm worried about because they're right up our butts. 13, so that's okay. Uh, Diax next. He's got a one, two, and a four, so uh, let's turn him around. Keep him there. Um, Overwatch again. Ah, oh, it's the end of the turn anyway, so there's no point. Uh, I'll just leave him where he is for now. He can't lay a booby trap because it's a six plus. Uh, he's in host. He's in cover though. Oh, that's it. I'll leave him where he is. It's the end of round. And before three. I forget, at the end of round three, I'm going to roll on the event table. See what that does. Six. Let's see. There's my floor. In case you're wondering. I've decided to move the camera with me. Not dead yet. The leader must pick one hostile that was slain during the combat and has not returned to the battlefield, then deploy them as close to an explorer as possible. Right, that's a pain in the ass. Uh, right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to pick a Negavolt Cultist. Stick him in there. Uh, immediately take a action roll. They take one uh, wound straight away from her, and then she's going to play Overwatch, Cleansing Flame, uh, Chain Blade on a four plus against it. Crits him, kills him. Uh, I take that event table. Shuffled off camera this time, so I don't have to do that awkward one hand shuffle thing. All right, let's see who's going first. Hostile group two, the spindle drones. Hostile group one, the Urgles. This is not great. Pious. Okay, it's good. Janus, fine. 
Where's you are? I need to get him out of here. Right, okay. And then hostile group three. Let's roll some dice, see what we've got. Three, Okay. Okay, and Pius did kill something when it came in. Uh, so on a two or a one, she gets inspired. Three, close, but not close enough. Uh, no, wait, I'm wrong. I did this wrong before, they've got three wounds. The... No, they don't. It was a neg vault. It's only got two. Uh, so she's not inspired, but that was close. And some destiny dice. Uh, three, threes and twos go away. Just leaving with a single six. He he is four away, so that's perfect. Right, I've got to have some thoughts whether I want to do a gambit here. It's got square agility. I think that's rubbish. Right, there's no enemies on the table, so they've got to reinforce. So I'm not going to be too worried. You are the toughest guy on the team, so hopefully you can stick it out and survive till the end. So, all right, start with number two, Spindle Drones. Let's have a look. Right, nothing comes back. Good. So, a relief. Number one, uh, Urgles. Urgles. Come on. Eight, great. Uh, right, Pius, she's going to spend one to move three. One, two, three. Uh, and that's it. The rest are going to be overwatch, I guess. Janus, he's going to spend two of these to move one, two, back in. And then Dyak, he's going to move back in. You are 25, hero, uh, spend three to move three, one, two, three. And then the final one in the destiny dice to move into the maglev. Right, so everyone's all right. Uh, I think I'm still gonna roll for hostile group three, just in case they turn back and terrorize me. Uh, that is a negavolt cultist. 18, uh, what's that? 16, sorry, what oh, that? Six is incredibly close to joining to become an 18. So that is the end of that, and we escape on the Magla. All right, that was the nuts. Really enjoyed that. They've got out of uh, the combat. No one's been hurt. And they gave the uh, Blackstone Fortress a bit of a, a trashing. Um, I don't know who was the best there. Probably UR25. He came in, destroyed the Spindle drone. And then got inspired and went on to kill four Urgles. I think three or four Urgles in a row, which was amazing. Um, really slow though, so the others end up covering his retreat, which is a bit tense. But luckily there were no reinforcements, and they got through it. Okay. Uh, Pius was really good as well, clearing out the Niggerbolt Cultist pretty early on. Uh, Kroot guy. I mean, he was all right. I'm not like overly sold on him. The mine at the beginning was good. He's got fast move. Uh, which is useful, but he, he didn't end up doing a lot. And then Janus, I mean, he's okay as well. He did pick up stuff, but he was just more just following the robot's destruction. Uh, but he is inspired next time we play, um, if we get back to Precipice, that is. And he's got a clue, so that's pretty good. Uh, so he might become more valuable as things go on. Right, so that's the end of that. I'm going to go on to the next the end of that combat going to the next exploration which is countdown have a look at this the leader picks an explorer the explorer can either leave the trap alone or attempt to disarm it booby trap status field protects a treasure of blackstone fortress if they leave a trap alone nothing happens this challenge is resolved if they attempt to disarm the trap the player who controls the explorer takes the destiny dice on account of three two one rolls them they have 20 seconds to stack the destiny dice one on top of each other to form a column of dice without it falling over before the time runs out 
First dice in the column must be a roll of one, the second dice a roll of two, and so on. So the top dice shows a roll of five. The player can re-roll any of the dice at any time. If the challenge is completed in time, the explorer draws a discovery card. If not, roll all of the destiny dice again, and the explorer suffers one wound for each roll four. Um, <laughs> one-handed, this is going to be impossible. I don't really know if I'm going to do it. Let's see. <laughs> you could get absolutely obliterated by this as well if you rolled five fours and just wiped a character. All right, let's see. So this is stupid. Um, I might pre, <laughs> I don't know whether to edit this out and use some sort of time slowing device to help me, but okay. Uh, starting from now. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, I need a five. Yep, yeah, got it, great. Two. Oh, I've got the shake so bad because it's on camera. Yes! Amazing! I did it. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. In can what only be described as an incredible feat of human intelligence, prowess, and agility. Um, I've managed to do that. I did have to set up a tripod because I didn't fancy doing it one handed, so that took me a couple of seconds, but okay. So, uh, I mean, that roll was really good. That helped a lot. Uh, challenge is completed in time. I had to draw a discovery card. All right. I feel like I should get more of a discovery card for that, like some sort of Olympic medal. That was ridiculous. Uh, clue. Great. Uh, I'm going to give that to Janice. Uh, that was pretty cool. I got a clue and it only took 20 seconds. Uh, let's draw something else. Right. This is the most complicated thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Let's give that a go. Okay, so it's set up. Big map, this one, uh, which is annoying. So I live in a tiny flat in North London and I've got a tiny table. But here they are. Heroes have turned up in the maglev. They've got a huge exploration uh, tile board, exploration tile board to uh, get into. I've got one over here, three and two there. So we need to draw some uh, counter cards. Okay, so I'll start with one over there. Two spindle drones. All right, that's two more than last time. Number two down here. Trade cards are really nice. I haven't fought them yet. Five of them. Lastly, for number three, closest explorers. Hoping nothing too nasty. Three Urgles. Uh, could be tricky. Let's get it set up and see what we can do. Okay, so we haven't seen the Traitor Guardsmen yet. All right, there's a lot of these in the models near boxes, so I'm assuming they're a pretty common enemy. They look pretty cool. Uh, I don't think you can get these in 40k quite like this. They're a really unique model. And uh, they've set up over here, a bit further away from the adventurers in the distance, if it focuses. Um, all right, I can have a look at their profiles before we go. Scroll down. Uh, so you get flame and las gun, pistol, melee weapon, grenade. Got two wounds, two moves, and they're small. Okay. Uh, what did I put out? Oh, there might be rules for this. Um, what I've got is flamer. I think that's a sergeant. Some regular guys with close combat. Um, we're going to stick with that. For now, we'll maybe look it up later, see if I've got it wrong, but they should be enough of a challenge. I don't know if this is going to be trickier than the last battle, but if anyone's up for it, it's this crew over here. UR25 inspired Janus and the gang. We're going to probably take out those Urgles first if we can. So uh, let's do some initiative. Ready. Uh, let's get these drawn out first. Janus. Pious, that's good. I'll start with two of these guys. You are. I'll start with one, two, oh, three, sorry, obviously. Groot. I might have asked about the Groot, I'm not sold on him yet. Let's see what we've got here. We'll make some tactical decisions. Um, I think I want to get UR out of there. I can swap uh, UR with Giannis because they can see each other. I think that's a sensible move. Let's get 
him over here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Janice actually gets a free gambit roll at the beginning of his turn. Secret, no oh, wait, strategy. The first turn of combat, Janice straight can form a gambit without an activation dice being spent. That's good. His agility is the triangle. Let's try out that. No, so he stays where he is. I think we're gonna stay the rest because I don't want to use any dice. Let's get some dice rolled out. Sorry, everyone's all over the place now. Not at the bottom anymore because of the big board, so. Right, nice. Six. Three. I rolled three for that, which is not right. Oh, a time went off, which is annoying, so. Uh, three for that. Four, four. Four. Right, nice. That's six is good for some flame for our action. And you are dice or oh, destiny dice. Uh, two ones get discarded. The two fives get discarded, and I just keep. Free. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Uh, only allowed to play this because my girlfriend's at work. She's going to be home soon, and I've got a supermarket shop coming. So, I mean, real life problems. Uh, Who's first? You are 25. He's got one, a two, and a four. So we're gonna have to move him out. Uh, I'm gonna go hard and pulverize. I'm gonna go hard and pulverize. Okay, so I'm gonna use the other two to get him up close. And then the destiny dice to attack. All right, the closest uh, goal. Alright, so he gets two of these. They've got three wounds each, I'm sure. Alright, and ignores cover with the power core. Uh, one wound. Right, that was underwhelming. Never mind. Got Pious to go next. What's she got? Uh, let's move her out. Two. And then get her some flame for her going. Um, she's got six, so I'm going to do the doubles. Use a six against each one in here, so against number one. Uh, he takes another wound. Number two. He takes a wound. Remember that. And the last one. Crit and a uh, success. So he's dead with the crit anyway, because that's three. So okay, one. so she's got two more dice. I'm going to spend another one of these. Because it's not six, when you get to roll one for each of these. So, uh, does a wound, kills him. And apparently you are 25. We'll put him back. And the next one, uh, nothing. So, I'm going to spend the final one to do a flame attack on him using. Uh, does another wound, putting him down to there. Okay, hostile group two. Let's roll to see what uh, this guy does first. So they're hidden. Twelve, advance. Uh, towards the closest. One, two, three move. Two move and then advance again. Great. Uh, next guy. Eight. Uh, advance. One, two, one, two. Next guy. Six. Uh, sneak, so. One, two. Um, otherwise he can be seen. He stops there. Five sneak. Stops. Five sneaks and stops. Okay. Uh, Janus. What's he got? One, five, six, five. Decent. Oh, I forgot to roll for inspiration for Pius. We'll do that in a bit. Uh, okay. 
him out. One, two, spinning that one. Let's move him again. One, two, spinning that to five. Flurry of attacks, three attacks into this. Okay, so we'll use the six, do three attacks. Uh, kills him. Great. Uh, and he is going to move on to that square. You search that next turn. Although, nah, let's keep him there, just keep it on Overwatch. That's fine, just in case. Uh, was this Ross for some inspiration? He did a wound, but it's three wounds worth of models, so it's a 2 or 1. Great, so he gets inspired. And then Pius killed two, which is six wounds worth. Ten, no, so she's not inspired. But Janus gets an inspiration point. Great. I'll start group one. Okay, so I haven't really put dent in anyone yet. Which in, uh, from I'll start group one, so spindle drones. Let's see what they do. Uh, first guy on the left. Uh, hidden, it's not in line of sight to anyone. Four, sneak. Right, uh, they move close. One, two, three, four. No one. No, wait, they can be seen there, so he stays there outside. Next guy. 12. Sneak as well. Alright, they're out of sight because no one can see them through there. If they move to there, then you are can see them. He's facing down the guardsman, not knowing there's an attack coming from the side. Spindle drone's done. Hostile group 3. Uh, Urgles. They've been wiped out, but on a 1, 2, 3, they get reinforcements. Six, eight. Uh, no. And then Dyak. Okay. He's got four, one, or two, and six. I forgot to do his free move and mine, so I'll do that now. Let me spring him out. Here. Drop the mine. I think this is the mine one, but I'll put it there. And then I think we can take some shots. Recruit rifle at range two to three is one so let's use that he gets d12 i think this is he does one they're not in cover so that's a wound one of them all uh, right let's shoot it again oh, block myself out from that way for the time being with that Trap, I need to remember that. Let's do it again with the two. Uh, another wound. Um, that kills him because they're only two wounds each. Nice. Uh, do it again with the four. Uh, does a wound. Right. And I've done this completely wrong. I should have used him to get the uh, trap. Oh, I'll do that now anyway. Alright, fine. Screw it. He can move onto here. Great. There's no point in shooting this spindle drone because it's going to get blown off on the next turn, hopefully. Now right, let's leave it at that. And that is the end of the first round because he gets inspired. He's done two wounds. Um, let's see what he gets. Oh, that's not his, I don't think. I think that's... Oh, no, it is. He's got one as well, I think. Uh, so on a four. No, no more inspiration points. Uh, and event. And event. I think I just dropped the camera a bit there. 19, let's see what that is. Heroic effort. The leader picks an explorer out of action. If no explorers are out of action, make a vitality roll. No, so that's fine. The end of first round. Combat round two, let's draw some cards. Let's get this going. <laughs> he always goes first. Three, Urgles, two, trade cards, that's not good. Pious, could have done with her starting before. I'll start group one, Janus, Diet. Okay, let's get some dice going. Three, two, one, rubbish. 
two, three, two, two, rubbish as well. Two, four, four, one. Oh, nice. Draw four, I'll take that. Destiny, I just need some of these as well. Oh, wow. Straight. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. That's the second time after the pile up that I had to do that I actually did all right with that. Okay, so ideally I need Vorm to go first. So you can see how you are. So I'm going to get a swap going straight off anyway. Covering fire, I think that's called covering move or something like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to burn everything to death with that. Uh, I wanna use a gambit. Um, for you are. Now he's got pants agility. Has he got six? Grek hasn't. No. And three. The air could pop up, but you'll have to take the risk. I think we'll stick with how it is. Uh, turn combat round two with uh, Pious Warm to go first. So, I'm going to move for one for one of the Destiny dice. Um, I've got no sixes to do Cleansing Flame, so I want to do Flame for our attacks on these. So, four, uh, two to do the first uh, Flamer attack. Goes. Gee, I'm not sure. Line of sight. Yeah, no, that's fine. Centre square, centre square doesn't pass on any edges. Um, so first one. Uh, crits kills him. <laughs> She's so good. Second attack. Nothing. Uh, let's spend another one here. Uh, one wound. I've got two wounds each. Uh, right, so that costs that, and then I'll do another one using the one from the Destiny dice. See if I can hurt him again. One, and that kills him. Ignores cover, but he hasn't got any cover anyway. So, and that's a pretty effective turn from her, really. Uh, right, I can't get her to shoot these guys really, unless I move her to here and then use the chain blade. I'm not attacking everyone in combat there. I think I might yeah I might leave that for now. It's risky. Um, she moves three to use two and then chain blade everyone. I'll leave it for now. See what happens. Okay, Trey Guardsman. See the guy at the front. He's got a close combat window and a last pistol. See what he does. Hidden into 10, advance. So moves two and then attacks you are. See what weapons he's got first. Pistol melee weapon. So at range two to three, it's two. He's got the square dice to attack with. Right, Let's see this. One, so he's not in cover, which means it goes through. You are has a defense dice, so the big one. His special reroll defense dice is if he fails them. Okay, so he needs to save one. He does with a crit, fine. Okay, uh, perfect. Next, traitor guardsman, flamer gets 18 charge. Right, charge is move towards the closest explorer, then attack an explorer is adjacent, invisible to the hospital. There's no adjacent move again. All right, decent. So he moves to one, two, no one close, so he doesn't attack and he moves again. Great. Uh, last guy 10 advance. Uh, so one, two, and Pistol again on UR20. Crit. Rubbish. Oh, I could get hurt here. So, defense roll. Nothing. Defense roll again. 
one, so that knocks it down to a single wound. Ah, it's the first injury anyone's taken. Irritating. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go next. I don't think he's gonna be too impressed with these guardsmen, so a uh, flame of guardsmen in front of him. Power claw costs one. I'm gonna use the two from here. Oh no, I won't. I'll use these anyway. Okay. 2d damage. There's one. Uh, again. Does another one. Kills him. Uh, then we'll get him to do a vitality roll. Uh, let's see if we can get that wound back. Which he does. Great. Oh, I can't do that actually, because I should have put the wound here, taking one of the dice, so he's just uh, injured. He's only got two action points, so I can't do that vitality roll, so uh, I'll have to have used one of those and take the wound off. Still got some dice here. I might move him forward. And actually, I'll do a sustained attack weapon with the assault rifle. So on a five plus, it does three attacks. I'll do that. Use the assault cannon even on these guys. So first one, first attack, nothing. Second attack, crit kills him. And third attack, one damage, perfect. Uh, then I will use another destiny dice for a three to do two more shots. And another damage kills him. Alright, that's that. Let's see if he gets inspired. He needs six. Nope, no inspiration, he's already inspired. Alright, that's the end of his go. I'll start with one spindle drones. Okay. Right, they're not engaged, they're not in cover, they're close to Pius, so here. Uh, right, let's see what happens. Two. Fall back. Two. Double the hostiles move value they take. Move towards a hex that's not visible. Right, one, two, three, four. So he ends up over there. Handy. Now Janice's go. Uh, Janice is going to have to punch forward, I think. So, one, two, four, that. three, four, that. five, six, four, that. Uh, Overwatch. Well, I know I've taken a risk there putting him that way, but that I'll have to do. I don't wreck next. Crew. <sighs> what am I doing? I've got no search actions. Oh well, I'll just move him up. One, two, three. And I'll move him again. One, two, three. Or here even. And move him again. One, two, three. Keep him there with. Right, I'll take that back and use Destiny Dice instead. Two Overwatch tokens. Uh, Overwatch token for him. No Destiny Dice. Okay, that's the end of that round. Right, I've blocked myself off here with this. Although it might. Yeah, unless it disappears at the end of the turn. So check that. I haven't taken that, which is annoying because I didn't have enough search things. I should have had a look more at my destiny dice, but in all, wiped a lot of the enemies off. Spindle drones left, uh, but I haven't got any clues yet. So end of combat run. A bit quicker now, hopefully. I've done this a few times. Right, nice little roll for form, give me some good flame for attacks, he healed up so he goes back to three. Destiny dice. 
Uh, only the four that time. I think this was a double. Initiative. Wow, this is ridiculous. Every time. One. Janus. Pius. I'll start with three. Two. One. Brilliant. So no delivery, no girlfriend yet. Maybe she's left me, and maybe the delivery guy's eating all this stuff. Let's hope not. Uh, you are 25. Okay, let's move him onto here, which he probably didn't expect, using one of these. And then do a search action. Um, I'll just use one of these, I think, actually. He gets discovery, a clue, amazing. Two clues, that's good. Uh, he's got six. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and move him right down this way. I can only move one. I've really got to figure this into my plan more. Now I'll start with one, which I didn't think about at all, which is spindle drones. Okay, they're not hidden anymore. They've got line of sight here. Actually, they might be, because I think they've got a special rule for that. Um, threat level. No, maybe not. There's something else. They're hidden if they're more than three, but... Uh, he is not hidden. He is in cover, so in cover. Let's see what he does. 16. Onslaught. You know that's move and attack. Uh, range. Base threat level. I think onslaught is attack twice. Attack the closest is one of those in range invisible to this hostile. Oh no. Yeah, okay, so he doesn't move, he stays there and attacks at two to three twice. So he's done a crit, he's the same defense die for Diana. Nothing, so he takes a grievous wound. Bummer. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, right, I'll probably put it on the one. <laughs> Get rid of one of those. Second attack. One, see if you can defend it. Oh, and he takes another wound. That's extra annoying. Okay, that's the end of the spindle jay. It's the hero's turn next. We've got to do some serious killing now. Uh, Janus. He's moving to here uh, for one of these. Searching for another one. From which he gets. Remnants of the Fall. Hamelin Shadow Guide Secret Agenda. Cool. Uh, I don't have Amelin Shadow Guide. But she is painted up, so that could be alright. Um, I really want to get out of here as well, so um, spend a three, move two to call the elevator for the other point. That's going to come here. Okay, so elevator's in. Happy days. Uh, who's next? Pious. Great. That disappears on her turn, so it's not blocked off anymore, which is good. She's going to move three. One, two. Um, um, to there, and then do some chain blade attacks. It is four plus for the chain blade. Uh, so she's got three attacks possibly she can do. I'm going to spend one. See if we can kill this guy. Yep, dead. Great. That was really annoying because he pretty much killed Greg. Uh, move three. One, two, three. Search. Get lost volume. Rain and Rouse. Right, I've got a lot of secret agendas. That is awesome. Um, but I want clues as well. So I don't know, maybe I'll bring other characters in next Blackstone Fortress adventure. That's good, because I want to see how everyone plays. Uh, hostile group three, which is uh, next. Okay, uh, before I do hostile group three, I'll just roll to see if she gets inspired on one or two, no. Hostile group three, they need to roll for reinforcements. Nope, hostile group two, they're all dead, traitor guard, reinforcements, 17, no. Uh, and group's turn, 
Groot, even not Groot, that's from Guardians of the Galaxy, isn't it? Uh, okay, so he's only got two dice left, but he can move three, so let's get him out of here. Pull him back to there at least. And they have to do a vitality roll, I think. On a triangle. Right, hopefully we can get one of these. Yep, gets a wound back. That's decent. He's still got his grievous wound. Um, and then I'll use my last destiny dice over here to move him into the Magla and get him up here. One, two, three. And that's the end of turn two. Uh, roll on the event table, see what happens. 17. 17. <laughs> Not very professional, that. Let's have a look. 17. Inspiration. Leader picks an explorer, that explorer receives an inspiration point. Uh, okay, I'm going to give that to Pius. I'm quick. Group, you are. I'll start group. So one, Janus, Pius, three. Okay. Let's see this. Oh, just the two this time. Annoying. Janus. Cool. Uh, group healed. Group. <laughs> I'm going to call him Group from now on. His name's Group. Okay, that's really good. But I mean, he's in the Maglev anyway, so it's not that great. I need you all to move a lot. And he's not going to get back this turn. Three. And Pius. Okay. That's it. So, Groot. Uh, overwatching everything. Uh, you are moving three. And then the Destiny dice. Get rid of this. One, two, three, four. So he should be able to get back next turn. Uh, hostile group two, hold on. Yeah, so you are gone. Uh, hostile group two. Uh, no reinforcements. Hostile group one. No reinforcements. Giannis. Uh, he's going to go into the maglev. Uh, Overwatch. And then Pius. Right, what's her movement? Three, so she can move. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 12. Great. Hostile group 3, uh, which was the Urgles. 4. No reinforcements. So this is the turn I need you are to go first, really. Hostile group 1, Spindle Drones, Janice. Hostile group 2, 3. You are. Oh, I can't even see anyone either. Okay. Destiny dice. Uh, I've got four. Two fives go away. Janus. Sorry, it's getting a bit rushed now. <laughs> uh, running out of time, but I should be able to get one home safe now. With a bit of luck. As long as there's no ambush. I've been lucky for reinforcement work so far. Okay, good. Um, no one can really swap. So we'll get through hostile group one and two. So hostile group one, reinforcements. No hostile. Oh, Janus. Alright. Uh, everything on Overwatch with Janus and hostile group three. Uh, nothing. So now it's you are. He's going to spend two to get back and go on Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch for uh, Groot. <laughs> and then Hostile Group 2, which is the Trek Guardsman. 16, nothing. Pirates isn't going to do anything. That's the end of another combat. Phew. I mean, it went okay. Uh, can't remember actually now if I did search that. Hopefully I did. Um, otherwise I'll just add it on later once I've had a review because I've killed everything. But one grievous wound on uh, Groot, so hopefully 
I can heal that or go back to precipice. We'll see. Uh, that's it for now. Back into the maglev. We've escaped. Brilliant. Okay, so guys? at the end of the combat, that was pretty good actually. I've got two, three clues now. So we need one more to do a stronghold, some architect. And for some reason I've got a lot of secret agendas, which is great. I might change up my characters, but I'm not going to go back to Precipice. I've only got one wounded. Um, I'm going to carry on, I think, do some more adventures and then go back if anything else bad happens. But pretty happy with that so far. I think that's going to be the end of episode one that we're going to see right now. Um, hopefully we'll be back with some more. See how these guys get on. You are 25, an absolute warrior. And the others, pious form, burning everything in a path. And that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's my first playthrough, so if I've made any mistakes, uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Cheers.